What is going on, managers, and welcome back to a brand new video from me. And today we're taking a look at Everton Football Club and their sacking of Frank Lampard, who is going to come in next. We're having a look at their number one target, and that is Michelle Bielsa. And hopefully he can do a job there if he did get the job. So we're going to go through some pros and cons of why Bielsa would be good and why he wouldn't be good at this club, and just show you why he'd be doing a better job than Frank Lampard, all in all. So let's get straight into this video. So, guys, we're going to take a look at Everton Football Club. They have sacked Frank Lampard and their number one target is a former rival of Frank Lampard, the whole Spygate with Frank Lampard and Bielsa. Kind of an interesting story there as he's going to try and replace Lampard is a very good story for us, but we are looking at Bielsa and we're having a look at his style of football and if he would benefit this Everton football club. Now, the first thing you have a look at with Lampard is that he uses so many different formations and variations of his team. I don't think he's quite got the team sorted or know what the strong part of this team is. I think he was a little bit different when he was at Derby. He had his squad set out and he knew what he was going to be doing. He knew what he was going to be playing and Mason Mount was kind of just destroying that league for them as well. So that's a massive help. But I don't think he's got them type of players in here where he feels comfortable with them. So he's kind of mixing the match. And you can see in this statistic here in the background, you can see that he's played many different formations whilst being at Everton. So there isn't one pretty much set. He's played the most of a 4-4-2, but it's not set in stone what he's been playing. There's a lot of variations there. And that upsets the apple cart of the team. If rolling up on a Saturday morning and you don't know what formation you're going to be playing, it could be a little bit here and there. Or only having a week to change that formation in training, it's definitely going to catch up with you. Where you've got Bielsa and his style of tactical genius, as I would call it. He's got two tactics. He plays the 4-1-4-1, which is a very strong style of an attacking football. Ball. And then he also has his three at the back as well, or five at the back if you want to count the wing backs as well. But he's got two variations, which the team will train every single week, no matter what. So if they need the variation, they've got the one or the other one. And I think that's going to be stronger for... Everton because they know that that's what they're going to be training and that's only what they're going to be training so Bielsa coming in and giving that style of football with his intense training as well he's going to really drill in the tactics of them players and understand what they need to do whereas Lampard might be just a little bit too friendly with the boys back there. One thing I do see with this Everton side is they are not the fastest of sides. Yes they've got injuries, I fully understand that. Ben Godfrey's out there, uh, Calvert Lewin's out there some big players out there, some kind of leaders as well out in that team so I kind of the the pace is not really there for him. I, I see Damari Gray is probably the fastest player there for this side, but another couple of plays in there, a little bit iffy with about and there just doesn't seem to be that it aggression to go and get the ball there's very less intensity when they are trying to push and put the pressure on the opposition which we'll get into a little bit sooner but I can see when Bielsa comes in he's going to be looking at bringing in some more players and I think Dan Juma is a very strong player hopefully Spurs don't hijack that bid for him because he would be phenomenal in this Bielsa side a very strong fast attacking player a lot of energy as well to get the ball back off him so I think Bielsa will really look to get this player in and he would absolutely change the dynamics of the game as well for them. Like I say, they have got a few players in. Calvert Lumin coming back would be a brilliant one as well with him, him and Mapai up front. You can really put a bit of pressure on. I think Mapai is a great pressing forward, which is what will be used in Bielsa's side here to get up there and really press down on the opposition as well. And that's what they are lacking at the minute. Try and get that out of um, Mapai because he seems to be the only one at the minute out there as well. So I think that Bielsa would look to bring in some new players as well, but he's still in January and he has got about five days, four days to try and bring players in. I don't think that's enough time there. Like I said previously, Bielsa does like to start his jobs on the 1st of July, so it might not be the right call for him to get this one as well. And going on that style of pressing with Everton and Lampard, we're going to show you a few pictures right now, as you can see in the background. The pressing that is on from Everton seems very lazy about how they go about getting the ball as well. You can see here in many different pictures, like they're just not close to the opposition. You can see on some of them, Spurs just look like they can pass the ball straight through. And look at the gap. It looks like one of them's Moses and parted the Red Sea there to get the ball all the way through. There's just not enough intensity and really man mark on these players to get the ball off them. It's very lazy from them. If we have a look at Bielsa's style of pressing right now, you can see the players right up close to him, making sure that on the first touch, they're going to try and get the ball back off them. Real intensity and real strongness to try and get that ball back off them and instantly against attack when they can do as soon as possible. So if you compare the both of them right now on the screen, you see Everton's and compared to Leeds, you can see the difference there. You can really see why Bielsa is known as that intense high press press 
or that he is and it just doesn't suit the Everton side at the minute unless Bielsa can come in and change it around maybe Lampard isn't being hard enough on the team to be like come on boys you've got to press more 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 where he's just letting them get away with it it's just being a bit sloppy and lackadaisy there as well whereas Bielsa will really want to push in and get that in there as well and also with that you you don't see a positional player with this Everton side and if you're familiar with what a positional player means positional player is kind of a DM your, your Fabinho your Casemiro your Rodri's them types of players as you can see previously with Bielsa he was really really good with them because he had Calvin Phillips in the side as well that was kind of his positional player there so if you needed to the players needed to push up Calvin Phillips was just behind to mop up exactly the same as what Rodri would do at Manchester City and exactly the same what Fabinho would do at Liverpool and Casemiro at Manchester United all the the best ones in the world most teams need that type of player there so that is what Bielsa would definitely need the only player that I could kind of see in this side that could do that would be Onana who they've recently brought in so if they can adapt him into the side and become that positional player and Bielsa could definitely bring that out of him because Bielsa is that type of manager to bring out some of the best ability in the players as you saw with Calvin Phillips getting the move to Manchester City and just showing just what amazing performance he put on in the World Cup and the Euros before the World Cup so there's definitely there and he's definitely good enough as a manager to do that. And I think he can bring out a few of the other players as well. Like I was talking about Mapai with that pressing, he can definitely bring out that. Dwight McNeil, he can probably get the best out of him. And if he can keep on to Anthony Gordon, who's just a 21-year-old, and he locks him down and gets him doing really well, Anthony Gordon could become a very strong player. Chelsea are already linked with him already, so he could become an even better player if he's got the right manager right next to him, giving him that encouragement and giving him the bit of urge that he needs as well. They are just a few things I would see in this Everton side, which would change my mind if Bielsa would go into there. I think he could make them a very strong side. They have some good players in that side. That was just a quick recap of what I think and what I feel would go about it and as you can see here we've got the Everton side lined up right now and just looking at some of the players they've got some very young players in there so Bielsa coming in might change them as well and just encourage them a little bit more to be that little bit better on the ball and a little bit more intense when they need to be and there's some like I say good players in here Decor is still in there who could be Onana as well you see there Onana's got some absolutely fantastic attributes there good tackling good passing good pace good stamina good strength he's an all-round good player and he could really be that positional player that they want there in the side like i say you got neil mapai as well there with that 16 work rate he's going to work down get that work rate going keep going try and win the ball and just push forward he'd be the perfect player for bielsa there as that pressing forward as well some very good strong plays in here and the tactic that i've put into this team would be bielsa's 4141 i have done a video on this video before so if you want to check the full video out full vlog of it go over and check it out it is where i put him at bournemouth when he was highly linked with the bournemouth move over there as well so this is what we're going to play this is how we're going to play it i'd probably play this as a pressing forward this time just to get more movement up top and get him involved in the game a little bit more so we're going to pick the squad and show you the squad that i'd run with and this is the team that i'd kind of run with guys pickford obviously be the main man My Klenko on the left-hand side, Connor Cody, Tarkovsky, Patson all down there. Patson is a real good player as well. Uh, Nathan Patson is going to absolutely shine. Once again, another young player under Bielsa could be very, very good for them. I think Connor Cody and James Tarkovsky are a little bit underpaced. That's the only problem I have with this defensive side. Mina is injured on this game, so we can't use Mina, whereas Mina would still be a little bit slow, as you can see there. So maybe looking into getting some faster center off ben godfrey would be that fast center off but unfortunately he is injured at the minute so we can't use him then we have onana as our positional player dwight mcneil on the left hand side demani gray on the right very fast players probably two of the fastest players in the team so they really need to shine and start doing something well for us there with the pressing of mapai there and then we have james garner and awobi who has now been converted into that center midfield player so that's what i kind of use there is some old guys in there so there's some experienced guys with some young guys hopefully they can link together and i think it's just a perfect formula for bielsa to try and get the play off so we're going to go through a season see how we get on with the season and hopefully we can overperform and perform better than what frank lampard was doing so let's get into the rest of the season and see how we get on we have jumped ahead in the season and as you can see with this Bielsa tactic we finished ninth in the league which is not bad I think Everton would take that top half finish 
a chance for them to spend money and build on it next year to try and push it for that European glory. So would Bielsa work potentially in the world of Football Manager? Yes. Would he work in real life? Well, that's just a different question and only one way to find out. As you can see, Dominic Cavett Lewin being an absolute superstar there, managing to get them as well. 29 goals. And we actually finished the sixth best scoring in 53rd. And the goals conceded, we finished 40, with 41, which was the third best in the league. That is quite incredible. I like what we've seen there with the not laying the goals in. And that's one massive thing that Everton need to do now is stop conceding goals, work on the defensive structure, and hopefully that's how they will be saved. But... It's all down to the Everton gods now to see who they appoint. There is Bielsa. There is Sean Dyche. We might see a video from Sean Dyche coming out soon. Just a little warning there. But guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. Make sure you do hit the like and the subscribe. I'll be out massively with all the algorithms and everything like that. And if you want to see more live content from me, I'm live over at Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash ticker 147. Then you'll see me doing live saves and doing experiments and all different stuff over there. So get over there and hit the follow button. You guys will be legends if you do. Once again, guys, thank you very much for taking a bit of part of your day. Checking out my content it means the absolute world to me. I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye-bye.